Type B concrete air meter, calibration vessel, and measuring bowl should be calibrated following the guidelines in ASTM C231. The calibration vessel and the measuring bowl should be calibrated prior to calibrating your air meter. To begin the air meter calibration, first, set the air meter into a large pan to prevent spilling excess water. Remove the lid from the air meter and fill the base with room temperature water until it overflows. Then, pick up the lid assembly and screw the straight calibration tube into the threaded petcock hole on the underside. Position the lid assembly under the base making sure it is seated properly on the lip of the base. This will ensure that the meter is airtight. To engage the clamps, work with opposing clamps simultaneously and close them to secure the lid to the base. Next, fully open both petcocks on the air meter so that water can travel freely in and out of the meter. To expel all remaining air in the meter, use the blue syringe to inject water into the meter through the petcock where you installed the calibration tube. When water flows out of the opposite petcock, you can be assured that the meter is full of water and that all air has been expelled. Once completed and without closing the petcocks, use the pump to increase the pressure on the dial gauge to match the predetermined initial pressure reading. The initial pressure reading, or IP, is indicated to the left of the center of the dial. The pressure is indicated on the gauge at the percent air markings at the 5 o'clock position on the gauge. Then close both petcocks. Using the needle valve lever, slowly press the lever to inject air into the base so that the gauge reads zero. As you hold down the lever, lightly tap the gauge repeatedly to ensure that the needle rests at the zero reading. To verify gauge accuracy, it is recommended that initial pressure is verified with all air meter calibrations. Once the initial pressure reading has been verified, take the curved calibration tube and screw it into the top of the same petcock that has the short tube screwed into it on the inside of the meter. Make sure the curved calibration tube is facing down. Place the calibration vessel directly under the calibration tube and open the petcock. Slowly press down on the needle valve lever to begin filling the calibration vessel with water. Continue until the water in the calibration vessel is level with the top edge. This action removes exactly a volume of water equivalent to 5% air content. This air content value is within the normal range of use in most concrete mixes. Once completed, open the opposing petcock, which will allow residual water to flow back into the base. The air content should now be set to the calibration value determined by the vessel calibration. Refer to the value determined previously during the calibration of the calibration vessel for the proper air content. Bump the pressure up to the predetermined initial pressure reading while you lightly tap the gauge until the needle reading stabilizes. Then close both petcock. Press down on the needle valve lever to exhaust the air into the base. Continue to hold the lever down while lightly tapping on the gauge until the needle stabilizes. The gauge should read the correct air content plus or minus 0.1%. If two readings in succession indicate a variation that is greater than plus or minus 0.1%, the gauge needle will have to be adjusted so that it reads correctly. This adjustment is accomplished by unscrewing the gauge cover and using a small screwdriver on the slotted screw of the needle. When this is completed, reinstall the gauge cover. Repeat the calibration procedure at least twice to ensure the air meter is reading correctly. Once this is accomplished and the gauge is reading within plus or minus 0.1% of the proper air content reading, your gauge is properly calibrated and ready for use.